What is going on, YouTube fam? Thanks for joining me here in my live cast. It has been a while. Sorry for sorry for that. Just been busy with life. A, lot, a lot's happened since about a month ago. Some good, some bad, a lot of neutral. Anyways, let's get into it. Looking at Hummer Black EDT Eau de Toilette. Uh, if you don't know about Hummer, guys, it's a very little known, very little hyped <clears throat> Brand, uh, parent company is Elizabeth Ardon, so they definitely have some cash behind them, to be sure. That's the box. You do get a ginormous 4.2 fluid ounces, 125 mils. That's the uh, uninteresting ingredients, which is whatever. It doesn't really tell you anything that you need to know. <laughs> um... Yeah, nothing really there. <clears throat> this is the bottle. Kind of cool, kind of different. It's quite heavy. Uh, this almost feels like glass. I'm not sure if it is or not. It probably is, but if it's not glass, it's something very, very similar. I don't know, plasticized metal. It's probably glass. At any rate, only thing I don't like about this, guys, is that they've done one of these slightly niche, kitschy, slightly tacky uh, inset spray nozzles. So you have to you, you have to press this button down, this large top, and this kind of has some play. It comes out, but it doesn't always shoot out uh, evenly. But that's a minor gripe at best. It it does work pretty decently. Sometimes you have to kind of give it a couple of extra attempts. Now, why am I, why are we talking about this? Why am I talking about it? Well, a couple of reasons. One, a couple of my friends drive Hummers, whatever. I'm not going to get into the, an argument about should you drive a Hummer or not, a gas guzzler, lots of oil, lots of pollution, potentially. That's... That is a personal decision, and although I am someone that believes in green, 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 and uh, e saving the planet and, and you know ecosystems and stuff, uh, I think we all have to kind of come to a personal crossroads and then make those decisions largely on our own. Having said that, I do believe EVs will definitely eradicate you know internal combustion engines, otherwise known as ICE, within the next. 40 years, let's say, maybe less. Uh, we'll see. I do believe that uh, I, uh, EVs will be the majority, of, if not the only type of car sold within the next 10 to 15 years, let's say. I think uh, gas engines will be outlawed as far as for new sales. I, I'm not saying for driving them, although they might as well. Or be heavily taxed if you drive. Anyways, I'm not trying to get off on a tangent there, but <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's get back to the parfum, which is really an eau de toilette. So, Hummer Black. Well, guys, it's March the 3rd. We're basically into the beginning of spring, more or less. I mean, uh, not, not to be anal about it or uber scientific. It's basically spring. And so, uh, I think this is a, a fine, cheapy to start and kick off spring is it great no is it is it incredible no but it's very serviceable it's pretty good it's quite similar to a lot of other fragrances in this type of airspace and here's the real clincher guys right, so it's 2020 whoa just a second just a second it's almost here it's coming up okay that was bizarro my uh cell phone just literally shot off on its own playing a video that i didn't even have loaded that is creepy whatever anyhow back to the back to the live review um this compares quite favorably guys to a lot of other fragrances in this type of airspace where you want something that is fresh woody um a little uh, maybe a little citrus not a whole lot in there just kind of a typical man frag for the spring, to be quite blunt. 
Uh, now we're going to get into the individual notes and talk about them, and I'll give you my final closing thoughts. Oh, and again, you can get this bottle, guys, for under $30 online. So if you know, if you're afraid of losing big bucks, fear not. You can get a whole bottle for like 28 bucks. Maybe I've seen it down as low as 23. I'm not sure if they charge shipping or not. So again, that may come back up closer to the 28, $30 range. At any rate, I think this compares quite favorably to a lot of frags that at least when they were new, sold for between 65 and $100 uh, suggested retail. So. I'm not saying they're necessarily as good of, as all of those, but they compare more or less quite favorably. So I'm going to leave leave that at that, and we'll get into the notes. So base notes, obviously, almost always slightly differs from Fragrantica, but whatever. Here's base notes list, and then we'll get into the Fragrantica's list. Okay, so this is base notes again. Top notes, violet leaves, green apple. Cypress leaves, heart notes, tobacco leaf, iris, lotus. And finally in the base, white musk, Chinese incense, and rugged woods. Now let's get back into Fragranticas. Fragrantica says green apple, cypress, violet leaf. In the mid, tobacco, lotus, and orris root. So already a significant little difference from the uh, base notes. And finally, the base notes, white musk, incense, and woody notes. But otherwise, obviously quite similar. Now, base uh, for Grandica, a couple guys said it's okay, not bad at all, moderately potent, has a fresh woody smell with some florals. I can detect a cedar note in there too. Tobacco is faintly present. An inexpensive and pleasant scent with a nice dry down. However, I wouldn't get it again. It's not memorable or potent enough. It's got to be five out of 10 for me. Uh, anyway, so on and so forth. Now coming back to base notes. Uh, Darvant, who I have uh, mentioned before on the show, I believe, out of Italy says, and I quote, a darker ideal combination of Trussardi, my land, and Paco Rabanne, one million, cheap but decent. And I would say that pretty much sums this up, guys. Um, I, I own one or two Trusardis, at least, maybe three. I'm a longtime user and promoter of Paco Rabanne, one million. Uh, hate me for it, love me for it, being different, whatever. I would personally say, guys, this is not quite as good as either of those, it being brutally honest. But it's not way, way down the line either. It's 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 within spitting distance. It's not as good as one million. Certainly does not have the siage or projection of Paco, Paco Rabanne's original formulation in one million, which is just like a neutron bomb. Um, it's probably a lot closer in that regard to Trusardi Mylan. I've never been that impressed with Trusardi's projection and longevity. They're decent but I've never been blown away by them. I think this is more favorably compares to Trusardi. Smell-wise, I think this is a little closer to, to Trusardi's My Land, but there's a little bit of one million definitely going on in here. Now, as far as the tobacco, it's, mm, it's barely there. I only get a lightest whiff of the blonde tobacco mix, mixing heavily with the white musk. And sort of a generic woodsy Chinese incense thing, more like rugged woods, but just very slightly generic. The iris is present, uh, lotus or orris root, mm, I'd say maybe 2%, 3%. Cypress leaves, quite a bit more present, but not, but they take a, a very, very back seat to the violet and the green apple. So the violet and the green apple are going to open very, very prominently along with the iris and the musk. And this sort of generic woodsy with a barest hint of like a blonde tobacco and just a slight nod to some kind, kind of incense uh, smell. So overall, it's very pleasant. Uh, it's super cheap. It's just, it's absolutely, yeah, I've read, I've read one guy, one guy said online that you can get this for about $20. Maybe if you look around. Maybe slightly even less, but again, you may may have to pay for shipping and handling. Um, 
it's a, it's a fun, good, cheapy guys. If you this a pre pretty good dumb reach, if you, if you don't need to do something mission critical, or you're not gonna blow someone's doors off or wow someone's olfactory sensibilities. This is a fine little fragrance. I mean, to make a perfect post gym or just going around a park, walking outside. I could think of a lot of uses for this, especially if you don't want to burn through your more expensive uh, spring catalog of, of fragrances. So this would be a great way to kind of extend your other more important heavy hitters for more important occasions, frankly. So if, if that, if you like that idea, pull the trigger. If you don't and you just want, want to see this as an absolute waste of time, that's fine. I feel you. No problemo. That's going to do it, guys. Uh, all in all, this is pretty good for what it is. And it's dirt cheap. That's my review for Hummer Black. <clears throat> Black, excuse me. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye bye. Oh, spray often, spray well, live life on your terms. Peace.